All right. We're at my friend's house. And she said, hey, I got some bananas. Why don't you come over and take a couple racks down and we'll split them. I said, yeah. Tie a rope around that, hang it up. You don't want to hang them like this because when they ripen, they're going to just peel off of the stem and then they're going to be open in the tops. But when you hang them, you hang them upside down, and then they can ripen and they're not going to peel off of themselves. Right about there. There we go. Okay, it's been about two weeks since we harvested these bananas, and as you can tell, they are nice and ripe, and so we need to process these because they're going to go bad soon. You see how that's kind of breaking off of the stem? That's because they're so ripe. So I better get processing these before I waste them. That's why when you ripen them, you want them to hang like this on the stock. A lot of times I see people put them the other way and where they sit like this and then when they get ripe, they do exactly that. They just get so soft that they, they peel off and then they're open. So then you got to process them right away, uh, which we're going to do anyway, but uh, the other way just helps give you more options so they're not all broken at the ends. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Got bananas <laughs> coming out of my ears and going bananas. <laughs> We've got a lot of bananas here. These are all the ones that were so ripe that they just fell off of the rack. And then these ones, I was able to 
keep this part, I don't know what they call that, but keep this part intact. And that'll hopefully give it a little bit of a shelf life. But you can see the majority of them just broke off right there. I'm gonna get these bad boys bagged up, frozen, preserved, whatever. So that's one of those bananas from outside. Both these were grown in my friend's yard in some very fertile uh, volcanic soil. No pesticides, no fertilizers, just all natural. Probably one of the most organic bananas I could be eating. <laughs> anyway. Mm. I know you've eaten bananas before, but there's something about a homegrown banana. It's got more flavor. It's sweeter, it's more concentrated. Kind of like if you've ever grown your own tomato. You know those, and store-bought tomatoes don't even come close. Well, bananas are the same way. Mm. Mm. In case you all are wondering, that is 73 bananas, apple bananas. These are a little bit smaller. I think they're sweeter. Anyway, these are bananas here from the Big Island. Okay, so what I decided to do is just pack up four bags. Each bag's gonna be enough to do a batch of banana nut muffins. So we'll keep those in the freezer. This would make some great compost. The rest of these right here, I think we're gonna go ahead and dehydrate them. This is the food dehydrator. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these apple bananas, peel them, slice them, this direction into oh, about that thick. And then we'll place them on here. And then we put it inside of the unit. It has a little heater that blows air and it basically dehydrates the bananas. And uh, it takes quite a few hours. And since it's hot here, and we're kind of down by the beach, it gets pretty hot in here. And uh, so we don't want a little heater going all day. So I'll actually plug this in on the lanai and uh, let it run until they're ready. Okay, so here is the finished product. We have the bananas sliced up. This is the bottom of the unit. And these racks basically just uh, stack on each other. And uh, we'll just stack these. There's two more here. So I've got four layers of bananas. And uh, and you put this guy on top, plug it in, you hear that sound, that's actually the fan and there's a little heating element in there. And uh, you set the temperature over here, but uh, 
we're not going to do this inside because it's putting out heat and it's already warm enough in the house. So we're going to take this outside and uh, we'll go ahead and put a timer on and we'll check it in a few hours and see how they're doing. Okay, so it's been about uh, four hours actually. And my daughter says these are done. Texture feels good. That's just right. You want it to be a little bit floppy. <laughs> you don't want it to be like a chip, but you don't want it to be too 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 much moisture because then it's gonna it's not gonna be as chewy. It's gonna be more like a regular banana. So these are good. I'm gonna take these and bag them up. We should be able to enjoy these for the next uh, couple of weeks, actually. And I've got enough bananas to go ahead and do probably at least one more stack of trays. And uh, these will be really nice, just either as a snack all by themselves or even taking them and putting them, like chop them up and put them in your cereal. Yeah, this is great. This is one way to preserve bananas when you got a whole mess of them all at once. So round number one, all right, we're gonna go put these guys in the fridge. This represents a lot of work. It took a lot for these bananas to grow in the ground.